Many of you will have seen my YouTube channel stories about how to use a pair of binoculars. And I have quite a lot of different binoculars that I've bought over the years. But I was going through my study the other day and I found an old pair of binoculars which I used when I was in my teenage years. Um, they're still in the original leather box and I took them out to have a look at them and I was staggered to find what good quality these old binoculars were. So whilst we often talk about the new brands and the new varieties, it's surprising how good the optics were in some of these old ones. Now you can get old ones that are pretty cheap and ordinary, but when I went back and looked at these binoculars which I got in the 1970s, they're an amazing high quality binocular. Very old fashioned, they're in a leather case and they have a sort of uh, unfashionable shape in a way. But the quality of these binoculars is excellent. I looked up, I did a bit of research on them and discovered that in fact these were Japanese binoculars that were built and made prior to the time when the Japanese binoculars were widespread. And most binoculars came out of the UK or Germany. And in fact, there was restrictions on Japanese binoculars right up until the mid 60s on sales in Australia and the US and the UK. But the Japanese were making very, very high quality binoculars. And of course, these were the binoculars that then went on to be the, some of the famous brands that Japan is now well known for, like Nikon, etc. So I was staggered to find that these old binoculars were still so good. So if you've got an old pair of binoculars tucked away in a cupboard, dad's binoculars, granddad's binoculars, grandma's binoculars, check them out. You might find that they're as equal quality to the lenses that you'll have in a, a modern pair of binoculars today. Hi, I hope you've just enjoyed watching that YouTube clip that uh, I've produced. If you do like the clips that I'm doing, please do hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel and share uh, my uh, material with some of your friends. That would be great. I'm sure you know many people that would also enjoy hearing about birds from around the world on my YouTube channel. Thank you.